Hey y'all, so we are gonna talk about breastfeeding. This is my second child. I have already breastfed before. I did a lot of pumping and breastfeeding because I did go back to work um, in the school with the first one. The second one, we started off pumping a lot and now since I've been home for a while, we're just doing a lot of latching. We're still breastfeeding and pumping both, but not so much pumping. Um, I want to talk about my stash and how I built my stash. We're also gonna talk about how it's going, how it started, the pumps we use, all of that good stuff. So to start off, with my second child, because my first one was over seven years ago, so it's kind of a, you might remember, but not so much type of thing. But my child, the recent one with breastfeeding, it sucked. In the hospital, they kept trying to get me to latch. And if you know anything about the colostrum, it's thick and that initial latch was not what was up. I was not a fan, I was upset. Like I had an attitude. I did not like it, I did not wanna do it. And I was like, screw all this. I was not trying to do that. But after your milk comes down, y'all, it gets better. I promise it gets better. So after my milk let down, I was able to breastfeed. I did pump mostly because I was still going to school. I had to finish my clinicals at school. So I was pumping a lot, but on weekends or whenever I was home, I was latching. So we are latching majority of the time. When I latch, I use these, the Collect Milk. These are Hakka's. I have two, they're four ounces. I have two because they, I fill up one easily just by doing it on one side because she usually feeds on the other side. So I've latched this to one side. And you know you're supposed to fold this back, y'all. This is the technique that you need to use. This helps you get a good suction. You fold it back, you squeeze it. Now, the further down you squeeze, the the different type of suction you're going to have. And it is going to be a stronger suction. It kind of hurts if you go further down. So, I would say right in the middle and then you let it latch on. I've used these when I've been breastfeeding her and I've collected over 500 ounces of milk. I'll post a picture in there for you guys to see where my milk stash is right now. And sometimes after I feed her, I leave this on and I or I put this on the other side, an empty one. And then I also have this. This is Modella Harmony Hands Pump. And I like this because you can do a slow pump here, which gives you kind of that initial suction like you would get for your baby. And then you could kind of control the pump here, which is going to be your full pump. And you can go fast, you can go slow, that's up to you but i like that i also do have this breast pump that i was using when i was going to school more when i was pumping more often because the hands pump you can use that when you're pumping more often but it's not gonna be a fun experience it's gonna take a while but this has the automatic timer this is your free your free me independence and this has the cups that everybody loves these cups are the ones you can put inside and you're supposed to be able to do everything you want to do, but obviously you definitely don't want to bend over with them. You will leak milk. So you don't want to bend over with those. But I don't mind that pump. It has different settings. You go from, from different speed settings, different suction settings. If you control that right and you don't try to jump right in and go to the highest setting, it will be okay. Some people are still going to have pain because you might have wrong cups, et cetera, et cetera, different troubleshooting things you do. If you watch various YouTube videos, there are going to be all kind of troubleshooting what you should do in order to have a better experience with that. And I also occasionally will use these. These are like just regular milk catchers. You would put them in, like say if you got the shower and you're leaking a little bit, you'll put them in and let yourself catch some of that milk. I'm going to be real. I don't like these. I don't like these at all because I collect a lot of milk. I am what they would call an oversupplier. So I collect a lot of milk and I filled this up one time and I tried to take it off and the milk just comes out the hole because there's nothing to back it and nothing like that. So I just spilled like a bunch of milk and you can't really turn it like this to help. Like you couldn't lean over and try to take it off. Cause, oh, well, especially on mine because it has this opening. I have seen they do have versions that come with like a little closure piece. Obviously, I don't have that. But with this particular one I have, it sucks. I don't like it. I rarely wear it. I use my Fremi pump every once in a while. I don't use it as much as when I started off, mainly because I've been latching more and I'm not in, currently in school at the moment. I use these every day, every feeding section, 
session. We use these every time. They're easy to wash. You wash them like regular cups. It's not a bunch of parts. I really do like those a lot. And I use this not so much every day, but I use it every day, but not during every session. Maybe a couple of times a day. Sometimes if she feeds on one side and then I have the haka on the other side and it's not, I feel like I'm not empty, I will use the hand pump. But I don't need it every day. So I have built up to over 500 ounces of milk. So my feeding experience as far as the latching is going well. It's better, y'all. I had to talk to so many people. I did so much research. I was on YouTube watching so many videos because I was like, I've done this before. And this, what we're doing right here, ain't it. So I was like, I've done this before. And I know that this shouldn't be hurt like this. And I was in pain. Like, she would latch and I would want to drop her almost. Like, get off me. Obviously, I'm not going to drop a baby, y'all. But I was just like, get off me. This is not, I don't like this. I don't, I wasn't happy about it. I would be a little bit upset every time she would cry and I knew it was time to feed her. I was like, I have to figure this out. I need to figure this out. I've done this before and I want to continue to do this, but I have to figure it out. So I talked to several lactation consultants. I watched several videos. I did a lot of research. I talked to other moms. Y'all reach out, Re use your resources. Don't be afraid to ask people for help. People have other ways of doing things that you may not know about. I found that on this side, I could latch her going across here, but on this side, I have to use the football hole. If we don't my nipple doesn't stay in her mouth and it constantly slips out because it's kind of angled weird or whatever, whatever. But I end up having to feed her on this side and I have to feed her across here. And that works perfect for us. And I also, as far as like, make sure you're getting deep enough in there with your nipple. Don't let them just suck on them. Or make sure you're getting the areola in there as well. Like just things that you need to know. Watch people's videos, y'all. Reach out and to people that may know, people that have already gone through this experience. It should not hurt. If it is hurting, something isn't going right. So ask people for help. Reach out. And those are the pumps I've been using. We are up to 500 ounces. I'll keep y'all updated on how my experience is going. Oh, y'all. Y'all, make sure y'all get nursing bras. That was a game changer. Y'all, I was using a regular sports bra. So whenever I had to feed, she would get full boob. Like all out there. If she needed the nursing bra, the nursing bra helps so much because it has like a side support part and then it supports you across here. So you don't take the whole thing out. So even though you're out, your whole boob doesn't just fall over the bra unless you pull it all the way down. Obviously it would, but you get more support. Baby needs the support by nursing bra. It is a game changer. They have them on Amazon. They're like your sports bras, but they just have a little bit more finesse in there that makes the situation a little better when you're trying to feed. So overall, my experience right now is going good. It didn't start off good, y'all, but it's going and we making it. But I'm enjoying it and I'm enjoying being a, a mom of two. It's a different change. I'm remembering how you don't want to go nowhere because like I gotta put the baby in the car. I got to take the baby out the car. I got to do, but it's fun, y'all. And I even got me a little wrap thing, the baby wear. And I don't know who I think I am, but we going to try this thing out. And so I'll keep y'all updated on my experience and how everything is going at the moment. And y'all make sure y'all like, y'all subscribe, y'all comment, and all that other good jazz you do here on YouTube. All right? Have a good night.